Hi, I'm David Berlin with ZDNet. I'm here at Mashup Camp in Silicon Valley, and sitting with me is Brian Hamlin, who is a Mashup developer, but he's also a man on a mission. One of his most important convictions in life is dealing with the environmental problems that the Earth is facing, and he takes that passion and he's turning it into technology. And without stealing too much of your thunder, Brian, why don't you tell us how it is you're using technology to deal with your convictions, but start with what those convictions are all about. Absolutely, thank you, David. Uh, one thing that I heard recently that has stuck with me is that the future is already here. Uh, we already have the tools that, to make uh, amazing, marvelous things happen in the world. The question is, what are you going to do with them? Mm -hmm. So we have a unique situation facing us. So let me stop there. Yes. There's a lot of people out there who are aware of the problem. Yes. They're just not acting on it, right? Yes. I mean, we, we see it in the news every day, yes. but they're just not motivated to respond in a way that if everybody was responding collectively, it could actually make a difference to the planet. Absolutely, collective action and also uh, m personal choices that are realistic choices, mm -hmm. that things that you can really do in your daily life right now, mm -hmm. come to people where they are. So uh, what I want to say, the unique um, situation that we're facing globally right now, people hear different things about the environment. Sometimes the news is a little difficult to take, but there are scores of industrious technologists that are acting on acquiring the data, the computer, using computers and computer networks, mm -hmm. this explosion of information processing power that we have to acquire information about what's going on with uh, water movement, with snowpack levels, with uh, obviously the temperature, with um, toxics, let's say, in our drinking water or in the soil. Uh, very important indicators so that we can make good decisions. Also, well, so, so we're talking about there's a lot of data out there. Yes. Um, and it has a, and it's available for public consumption. You met much of it, yes. Yeah, you can build it into a mashup, let's say. Yes. And the question is, is like it may be two or three data points that get mashed together, yes. show up in a mashup, and I may see that, and I may be somebody who's kind of apathetic about dealing with global warming or something yes. that's confronting the environment, but all of a sudden I see some data that turns up in a mashup, and I really say, wait a minute, that that's something I can or, do something about. Or wait a minute, that's my neighborhood. My kids go to school here. Oh, even more or, important, yes. it, it touches close to home. It close to home, for okay. example. So there are different ways. One is the educational mm -hmm. aspect of something that is meaningful to people, a place where they live or work or play. Uh, another thing is the global circumstances, what's ha happening on very, very large scales. And then a third, I'd say, is practical things that you can do in your community. Uh, I'm big on recycling. Uh, taking things back to centers where they get collected, energy conservation, mm -hmm. containing the toxics. So I'm here at Mashup Camp looking at ways that you can mash up that data and bring it together in ways that are informative and practical. So, and before we had this interview, you talked about one of the biggest problems is that even though the data exists, somebody has to aggregate it in a place where everybody can find it. It's not just about you building some mashup that's going to trigger a person in Menlo Park to do something about something that's happening in their neighborhood. It's about making the data, data available to anybody who's going to mash something up, whether they're in Menlo Park or in Absolutely. Sydney, Australia. Absolutely. And, and that data directory doesn't exist, so why don't we see what you've got here. Yeah. We have the front page, mm -hmm. basically. So where is this wiki? Where can people see this? This is at isde5.pbwiki.com. OK. It's and what's on a typical page? Uh, directory of data sources and geospatial? Absolutely. I've been in contact with climate researchers in uh, the UK. And they did an amazing mashup. Uh, I'm showing it to you right here. It's the Coastal Observatory at Liverpool Bay. And they show basically weather and uh, ocean movement data mm -hmm. from a variety of sources, cleanly um, presented, very nice technically, the craftsmanship very high, uh, very usable and accessible to mm -hmm. everyone. Well, what about the data that somebody else who's developing a mashup, you, your wiki has information like, for example, if I'm a developer and I'm interested in developing some sort of mashup that has to do with the environmental issues yes. and tapping into that large pool of data that you were talking about earlier. Yes. You have a directory of that data? Absolutely. Here? So it's, can I see that? It's a dictionary of, of uh, data. So for example, uh, let's look at ESG. Mm -hmm. um, ESG is a charter, it's the Earth System Grid. It's a um, collection of laboratories uh, and science institutions across the United States that are chartered to 
aggregate and make available environmental data. They use supercomputers to crunch, crunch, it, all, to yeah. crunch it all up, and they're uh, making that. What sort of data. environmental data? Um, We'd have to look into more detail. Yeah, right. Don't know the exact data, but but I mean, but we're talking about rocket science stuff, right? It's it's like you know, it's numbers that people would look at, and some scientists, and there's some people who could make sense of it, but others of us who can't, right? Here, let me show you something practical that I'm doing right now. Okay. And that is, we have uh, this is called the e-waste zip finder mm -hmm. in California. Uh, we type in a zip code. This is somewhere. This is near where I live. Okay. It brings up a map. This, is, uh, this happens to be Google Maps based, but we use Yahoo Maps, we use Microsoft Virtual Earth. So you're taking the Maps API from one of those guys yes. and you're mashing it with some data. Yes. And what's the data you're mashing it with? Uh, in this case, these are places that you can take uh, used electronics, mm -hmm. uh, computers, for example, that pile of computers that's been in your garage or uh, bedroom. That's right and you can take them and properly dispose and recycle your uh, computer equipment. And so what we're seeing now is uh, on a map a bunch of places in my neighborhood where I can take stuff so that I don't end up throwing it out and exactly. hurting, hurting Mother Earth. Exactly. You're saving energy, you're containing coccyx, you're doing the right thing. So you basically dove into some database, found this information, is it relying on uh, GPS information or GPS coordinates of these different sites? This is all community oriented, so it's not no fancy GPS, mm -hmm. it's just you know places, street addresses in your neighborhood. All right, so just to go back to how it is you're harnessing your passion through technology, you're building directories of data sources that other people can build mashups like the one you've built here. Yes but that do other things, of course, because there's yes. all kinds of different data, not just data about where these recycling plants are, but data about ocean current movement and temperatures on mountaintops and things like that. Yes. So you're building a directory to kind of enable other mashup developers to do some really cool things. Absolutely. And hopefully somebody will spot something about their neighborhood and suddenly be awoken into action. Yeah. We're, we're going to need to rely yeah. on specialists a little bit here, yeah. but it's remarkable given some human understandable tools, what people come up with. And then on top of that, you're developing your own mashups to kind of get people to stop dumping their electronics in the trash and take them to a place exactly. where they're not going to hurt Mother Earth. That's right. Very cool, very cool. Brian Hamlin. Thank you. Good luck with it all. And thanks for coming to Mashup Camp. Thank you.